had an absolutely fantastic, wonderful mother. She, um, her mother died when she was six years old. So how she learned to be such a wonderful mother, I have no idea except that it was just innate in her. My siblings, Tom was my older brother. Jack was just um, slightly younger than me. And then Charlie, my youngest brother. We all went to a pro girl school, Our Lady of Good Counsel school. You had to go home for lunch. And so we would walk down, you know, Main Street. There was only one traffic light in town, and it was manual. You had, the police had to stand in there and, and change it. My grandfather, he would change the light so we could come over to him, and then he would give me a nickel to buy a little candy, and he would allow the boys, my brothers, to actually work, work the light which was a big treat. That was wonderful, to live right next door to my grandparents. The only thing we were never allowed to do was to touch Grandpop's gun. Of course, being on the police force, he had a gun. It, it was hung in the cellar way. And that was an absolutely no, do not ever do that, and we didn't. In our house, we had um, heaters. You could talk through the heaters, in fact, when my mother entertained her card club, we would listen through the heaters and listen to the card club. At Christmas time, my brother Tom um, would go up to a heater upstairs and he would say, hello, this is Santa Claus. Put your sister on. This is Santa Claus. I want to talk to her. And so I would get on the heater downstairs and he would say, um, now, um, what would you like, little girl, for Christmas? And I'd say, a doll baby. And he'd say, well, all right, okay. Now, what else would you like? A doll baby? Well, that went on until finally he would get annoyed and he'd say, okay, put your brother on. <laughs> you know, we had, we had that sort of thing. And, uh, we were a team. Mother raised us to be a team and we were. <laughs>